After 20 months, the wait came to an end for Gladys Berejiklian. The report today makes serious corrupt conduct findings against uh, two individuals. The former Premier has been found to have breached public trust and it's all over the relationship she kept secret with former Wagga Wagga MP Daryl Maguire. While Ms Berejiklian maintained it wasn't significant enough to disclose, the ICAC believed otherwise and released further private conversations between the pair. Yeah, but I am the boss, even when you're the Premier, Mr Maguire said. I know, so therefore it's hard when I had to switch it around. Glad, even when you were the Premier, I'm the boss, all right? Yes, I know. The corruption watchdog says there was a conflict of interest. And as Treasurer and Premier, the allocation of funding for the Clay Target Association and the Riverina Conservatorium in Wagga Wagga was influenced by the existence of her close personal relationship with Mr Maguire or by a desire on her part to maintain or advance that relationship. The corruption watchdog also concluded she refused to discharge her public duty under the ICAC Act by not reporting suspicious dealings by Mr Maguire. William tells me we've done our deal. So hopefully that's about half of all that gone now. That's good. Mm. I don't need to know about that bit. No, you don't. Yeah. You do not. The former Premier says, at all times I have worked my hardest in the public interest. Nothing in this report demonstrates otherwise. While her employer Optus says it has no further comment to make. To suggest... Gladys Berejiklian, uh, a successful, strong woman, uh, would need to uh, somehow provide a favour to Daryl Maguire to advance their relationship is an absolute disgrace. Daryl Maguire has been found to have engaged in serious corrupt conduct for running a cash for visa scheme for a private company. The ICAC has asked the DPP to consider prosecuting him for misconduct in public office. He's already facing criminal charges over the scheme. There has been widespread criticism from Macquarie Street that the ICAC took far too long to hand down these findings. But that's where the concern over the processes and role of the corruption watchdog stops from the Premier and opposition leader. But even those who serve the people of New South Wales magnificently are held to the high standards, and those high standards are appropriate. It's important, however, for all politicians in New South Wales and anyone in public life or positions of leadership to understand that we must manage conflicts of interest and in particular declare them. As for Ms Berejiklian, her legal team is reviewing the report and considering the options. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney. Until the ICAC came calling, Ms Berejiklian was riding high in the polls and had a reputation as a stickler for the rules. Isabel Rowe looks back at how the corruption saga unfolded. In 2019, Gladys Berejiklian made history as the first woman elected to lead the state. Someone with a long surname and a woman can be the Premier of New South Wales. But she was hiding a secret. She'd been in a relationship with Wagga Wagga MP Daryl Maguire for years. Even her closest confidants were kept in the dark. But the ICAC was listening. I'll go and chill. You just throw money at Wagga. I would, I'll throw money at Wagga. Don't you worry about that. Lots of it. While the corruption watchdog originally had only Mr Maguire in its sights, it soon began quietly looking at whether the pair's undisclosed relationship had influenced Gladys Berejiklian's decisions. If you were able to have your time again, would you disclose your close personal relationship with Mr Maguire to your ministerial colleagues or any of them? I didn't feel it was of sufficient standard or sufficient significance in order to do that. In 2016, as Treasurer, she oversaw money set aside for the Australian Clay Target Association, which was based in Mr Maguire's electorate. $5.5 million was announced the following year. Then, as Premier, she promised $20 million for Wagga Wagga's Riverina Conservatorium of Music, something Mr Maguire had been lobbying for. In October 2020, the relationship was laid bare in Ms Berejiklian's explosive first public appearance in the ICAC witness box. I'm a very private person and I didn't feel the relationship had sufficient substance for it to be made public. Despite the revelations, she survived no confidence motions in Parliament and held on to her job. Good afternoon, everyone. But a year later, she resigned in a shock announcement after the ICAC revealed it was officially investigating her for a breach of public trust. 
A number of Gladys Berejiklian's colleagues told the corruption watchdog she should have disclosed the relationship so it could have been managed. But the former Premier has always insisted that she acted in the best interests of the state. History will demonstrate that I've always executed my duties again with the highest level of integrity. Those history books will need some rewriting. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Sydney.